are not. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. I'm afraid so, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time, when I'm feeling up to it. I'm afraid not, but come back tomorrow and perhaps I'll be strong enough to speak to you. Right now, I just... I can't. I said I'd... No trouble at all. Things have gotten pretty bad in Epside lately. That's nothing new. The place is a dump. We should set up more posts in the area. Oh, there you are. I'm feeling a bit better today. Sorry about all that before. The thing is, well, I lost my husband Thomas last week. He. He supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. No, they certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop, and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Oh my, you're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. The truth is all I've ever wanted. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Huh? Oh, uh, goodbye.
Yes. Can I? All of our items are guaranteed to be of the highest quality. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. Please visit us again if you're in the market. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm not telling you. Stop wasting my time and leave. There's nothing to tell you. I don't have time for it. Listen, I... You'd better be right. Oh my god, enough! I'll tell you what I know, if it'll get you to leave. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits, and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, Unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. To throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? Huh? What are you talking? To? Oh, shit. No, he told me he took care of it. He told me no one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm... I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up, I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just... Come on, just let me go. No, I... I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. My mother wants... I'm afraid I'm not in the best... Please, tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him?
Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Good. And good riddance to him, too. An eye for an eye and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? It's for the best, I suppose. Going after security is suicide for us both. Knowing the truth is vindication enough. In a weird way, I'm... relieved? No, that's not the right word. I guess I'm just glad that I know the truth, even if it won't bring my husband back to me. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Of course, I want to thank you for everything. You're the only person to show me kindness in this city. You've helped me out more than you can know. Now that I know the truth, I think I can start focusing on healing. Or trying to, at least. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart.